my channel so today's video is gonna be a day in life of a Frenchy mom so if you don't know me I do have wee Frenchy he's a year old and his name's Horton so I'm going to this video just recording my day for the day basically with Horton and I'll obviously Connor too <laughs> and like a little face here because it's like the first thing in the morning well not the first thing in the morning but I've been up for over half an hour but it takes me a while to actually proper wake up so I've got my coffee which you've seen in the previous clip for breakfast, which I'm going to eat, I'm going to wake myself up and be a bit more alert. So, my first time doing this day in the life of a Frenchy mum thing, and I'm looking forward to doing it and seeing the whole day. Horton's upstairs with his daddy still sleeping, letting them have a lie in, and I'm going to get them up once I've had a breakfast. It's just 10 past 10, as I said before, so once I've ate this breakfast, taking Horton down to go to the toilet to get his breakfast ordered out, and just really start this day off. So, yeah. It's going to be a typical day, just getting things on around the house, spend time with Horton, doing work with college, um, getting nails on. I'm getting nails on at one o'clock. So I am, and I can't wait. I've been on for like five weeks. I've seen them, if you haven't watched my Ask Ellen vlog, you've seen my nails. The exact same nails I had on five weeks ago. I'm getting them just infilled in a different colour. I'm not sure what colour to go for. I'm thinking of going for like purple or coral or green. More lean towards the coral and purple. I'll have to see when I get there, but I want something different. And I'm going to get the shape changed and like the length and the length and what I'm talking about. The length taken down a bit, not loads, just a bit, and more of a ballerina shape, which I can't wait for. I really, really can't wait for. And then the rest of the day, I think I'll just do some cleaning. And I'll get my nails on and then we'll clean the house. But hey, -oh. and then um, take Horton for a walk and everything. Go for a coffee with my friend. Just a typical fellow day in the life. And yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just really, really groggy in the mornings. I'm never the most alert, upbeat person in the morning. You'll know that. But yeah, I'll see you when I get Horton up. Hey, do pee pee. Pee pee. Do pee pee. Do the toilet. You're not going to go to the toilet, no? Toilet. <sighs> Good morning, baby. Yeah. Oh, sniffy, sniffy. So he's went out for pee peas and poo poos, and he's just gonna eat his breakfast. I put him out some raw canine French bulldog adult. That's what we feed him. Since he turned one year old, just started putting him on the uh, adult version of their French bulldog puppy, and he loves it. But obviously, in the morning, he's quite picky. Sometimes I have to put a treat in his dinner just to get him beat it. Not dinner, breakfast. I keep on saying dinner, but it's breakfast. Sometimes I have to find a, I have to put a treat in it to get him to eat it because he is quite like a fussy eater and it takes him a while to come around to get getting his food and eating his food and stuff. But sometimes he just gobbles it down as soon as he gets up, but usually he, he would just wait a while and just procrastinate over it. But yeah, just put some, some fresh water out too and his food. And that's what we'll do him until like um midday and then I'll do give him a dinner at five or six and then he has a dinner and then that's him for the rest of the night. I do give him treats. I would give him like them we think they're called or we tasty money, I'll show you them in a minute, but he loves them. And he loves um the doggy chocolate. I loves um the jump bones. He loves them. He loves all sorts of treats, so he does. Yeah, he's like, he's supposed to friend at night, and that's what he does, he just sniffs around his food until he eats it. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll come back when I'm all ready and stuff. And he's looking out again, sometimes he just comes out, or goes in and out of the backyard, and eats done up, because I haven't bothered to fix it up for summer yet, and I've been lazy. 
just basically goes in and out of his um, backyard or our backyard and yeah he just loves the sunbathe and all and just like to chill on that bench, he chewed that bench half the bit so he hasn't been an old bench, he's been sitting there for years but he chewed it half the bits <laughs> and he just like to sit on it and just sit and chill and sunbathe that's what he does in the mornings when it's nice and sunny what are you doing mister? hope you're not chewing them bricks come on what are you doing? what is that? Horton, stop looking them bricks. Come on now. Don't look at bricks. He's in the everything. Like he's a year old, but he's still like a really hyper dog. So he's so hyper. He's a hyper -y boy. Like the other day, he was like literally non stop all day. Hyper, 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 hyper on the go. And you see the mommy's head in, weren't you? You did mommy and daddy's head in the other day. You were on Tuesday. Yeah. By the way, it's Thursday the. 19th of May <laughs> and yeah it's hyper on Tuesday so yeah just go let him sit in some bit and do his wee thing as long as he's not chewing and that'll be him what do you have hey what do you have who you're not chewing anything you shouldn't be chewing Horton what do you have <laughs> doesn't listen it is 12 o'clock and yes I'm in my gym gear because I'm going to go to the gym if I have time after I take him on a walk. So I'm going to go a quick walk around the streets and stuff just to get him settled. Yeah, that's you in the camera. Say hi. Is it Horton? And I'm peels and I think because there's no, little to no tan on. So if I have time I'll do my tan. Well I am going to do my tan today because I'm going to be like really pissed if I don't. <laughs> Nothing wrong with being pale but I just prefer having a tan and yeah. Just chilling away, aren't you? What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? You stuffing away? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's so cute. He's been a bit of a listless. He's just been like bored or anything. The day when he got up, he's like looking for things to do and causing a bit of mischief, aren't you, baby? You're causing mischief all morning. Yes. So we're going to have sort of all right and take your wee walk. Yes. Go take your walk. Show you want to go for a walk. Want to go to walk? Walk with mommy? Yeah, look. Go take your walk. A walk. He goes and asks me once to go on a walk, don't you, baby? Right, let's go on a walk, okay? I'll see you when we're on a walk. <laughs> okay, so just came back from the walk. Just took a wee four laps around the block. Just a really short walk, just to get him. Like, it's a matter you stop and all, and to stop him from getting really bored, so. It's all out of puff because it's warmer than well. I'll give him a really long walk because it's quite warm out there. I didn't want to overheat him. But four laps is fine. Just we sure we're in the block laps. So it was all right. I was, of course, didn't show you where I walked him because I don't want anyone to know where I live. <laughs> Apart from my friends and family and loved ones. Just for privacy reason, I didn't show you where I walked. Just, yeah. Um, I think it's like quarter past. We'll have time to go to dinner, I don't know, because I need to do my tan and all. May I either have to do um, a home workout or might just go to the gym, I have no idea. I need to get some shorter um, shorts, like we workout shorts, then cycling shorts. I'm going to order some off Shein or get some from Primark because I feel like the longer like leggings I'm wearing for workout night, they're just not cutting it for the summer, like they're roasting. So I think that's what I'm going to do. But yeah, or just buy basic shorts from Primark. <laughs> so, like, I didn't even need to bring a jacket with me today. I could have just done a fight, but I wanted to bring something to carry my keys and my phone and my poo bags for Horton. I didn't need to, need to use any of them because I didn't really need to do a pair of poo. Just walked around. Um, yeah, so Connor's away for a run. Neil's at one. I don't know what to do, actually. I think I've done a 15 minute workout. I'll be getting in the shower for um just after half, like try to have my shower because I'm not even washing my hair, I washed my hair yesterday and um, or dry it so it's all messy. So I'll be doing my tan and then actually hang on. Well then if I do my work out we'll have time to do my tan, I don't know. Because my appointment's at, at one, so I don't think I will actually do that to be fair. I don't I think I'm better enough not chance not a risk it. So I think I'll just um do a workout and all and go to the gym or do like a 
work right after the um, nail appointment because I'm going to one. Obviously, I'm not going on this. I might change it into something a bit more nicer, but I'm probably a bit of tint moisturizer on my face because I am looking so pasty. But yeah, um, what else? I mean, I don't have to do my tan now, I can take my eyebrows and all. I might do that actually, I don't know. But at least I got him a walk and I got him this out of the house for a bit too. And so he's not so bored, he was actually looking at that banister, not the banister, the skirting board, and I have bodies watch it. Didn't know he slipped it, but I was like, get away from that now. Because he has treated the banister, not banister, I keep on saying banister, no, the skirting board he treated it about a few months ago. Just a wee bit at the corner each side, but I could just fix that when he stopped, like, really early his puppy stage, but I called him looking around it and trying to treat it, so I was like, get away from that now. He's bored, I think that's why like, they choose, because they're bored or they're teething. Well, he's stopped peeing, but just bored. So, yeah, he's... <laughs> Let me tell you, he could be a handful. You think dogs are easy? They're not. They're like a step down. It's about, well, I suppose when they're adults and they're being trained and all, like, they've matured. They're not as bad as, like, as when they're puppies, like, they're not as much hard work. But puppies, especially, like, they're stepped down from having kids. I mean, that, like, seriously, he's calmed down a good bit, but he still could be hard work, like, he just really can. I love him to bits, I wouldn't trade him to the world, but trust me, if you're going to get a dog, especially a Frenchie, make sure you have the time and the energy and all to look after them, because, yeah, they're just, they're lovable, but they're come up a whole lot of hard work. Some of them are easier than others. But he is one of the hard ones. Well, I suppose there are harder ones than him out there, like, to be fair. But I love him the bits. What are you doing, baby? Are you just sunbathing out in the back? Yeah? He's just sunbathing. He loves the sun, so he does. He absolutely loves sunbathing. Sitting out in the back. And he just loves this chill. That's what I said before, but I'm just showing him sunbathing. But, yeah, um... She said for 10 minutes. I don't know what Actually, because if I've done my eyebrows, it'll be late, so I'll just leave them. At the end of the day, I'll just look a mess for the appointment, so that will also doesn't make. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna say that I get a bit of a lemonade, just chill with Horton, and get ready and then go to my appointment when Connor comes back from his run. But yeah, it was so nice to see him and walk with me and him. Right, I'm not going to ramble on too much because I'm just going to talk a little crap. Um, I'm also running because I'm just getting the work hold. <laughs> so, yeah, the joys. I'll see you when I see you. So, we're in Relish Cafe. Um, got a meal some. I've seen them in the previous clip. Just look absolutely amazing. I've got like two different corals and a silver sparkle. So, um, dark coral, light coral, dark silver sparkle, which looks like silver and light. Absolutely love them. Just getting their lunch. I'm going to go for the soup and sandwich combo. Connor's getting a toastier wrap, isn't it? I'm getting a bagel. Bagel? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> bagel. And I'm getting a skinny marker. He's getting tea. So, yeah, I'm just waiting for that to arrive. Hi peeps, so it's just after five past five, six past five to be exact, and I'm not long back in, Connor's away to work. Horton just um, ate the rest of his I had out for all day, so it's just took a while for him to eat it all, but he's at it, so I'll probably feed him in a couple of hours anyway, just to give him a wee bit of a boost. But yeah, um, he's just playing for stories. Horton, what's your head of the camera? You've got your wee comb, do you? Yeah, you wee comb? Oh, yeah. Now watch Mummy's iPad. Mommy's iPad? Ah, ah, come on. Mommy's iPad. Yep, I'm just really worried because he um, breaks my iPad or something on me. Uh oh, what's your call? Dinner? Dinner? Go get it. Hi. Hi, Jay. In the camera, pretty boy. Now a plane going by. Yes. Oh, we are walking around this. Yeah. Look in the face of me. Looking all around me. Yeah. Look at Mommy's face. Look, you don't have makeup on. Yeah, still looking like a potato today, but hey ho. Nails, I actually am so pleased with them. You can see them better in this light. You can see that the two different types of coral, like one's, this one's more like a darker strawberry coral, this one's more like a lighter peachy pinky coral, and silver. Oh! My 
Is a star? We call his wee na like, names. His wee toys different names. That like he has um a whole car family of toys, so he has Miss Mrs. Carrot and Speaker. The big massive one, Mr. Carrot is the medium one, and we baby carrot, the small one. And he has Mr. Elephant, don't you? Or Mr. Elephant. Is he upstairs? And it has Mr. Monkey where he's in the cage, I think you could see him. If you can if my hands are covered up. Kind of just about. And it, ooh. Oh my goodness, I just need to drop the phone there. And he has Mr. Banana, he's outside and has been outside for weeks. And he has Mr. Llama, that's always had since he was a wee tiny puppy. And he has all the other bones, um, squeaky toys, cones and all. He has loads of toys, like, <laughs> literally like this wee boy's wild, don't you? Where'd Mrs. Star? Let me throw her. Look. Okay. Oh, I just throw it on the floor, didn't I? And he has a skunk too. <laughs> yeah. It's a star. It's good to see it off like this so far all. <laughs> I haven't done it in like a couple of days, so it's a bit like piggly piggly. He wrecks the cushions, don't you? Mommy and Daddy always has them put nice and you wreck them within a day, literally. I have the cushions sitting all nice and like lay out nice and organised and then within the, that day he has them wrecked, like squashed out and all. He likes to put his um Rest himself on that cushion on top of it just to chill. And so you can really hear him because he's like looking away at that toy. He just stops him sure something he shouldn't be sure, so yeah. Hold on, Mrs. Star. Mrs. Star, where is she? You tuning her? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so I've had this a really, really good day. I'm still going to be vlogging like throughout the day anyway, and I hope you can understand me. I really hope I can talk really quick so I don't even realise I'm doing it half the time. So yeah, and another thing I got, I got actually got in Cornwall water. Hang on, I got a tan in Brand Max. I was the Saint Marie's tan, but it's a black bottle one. Like I've never seen a black bottle Saint Marie's tan in my life. They've all been in that white bottle, but it's their um express shape control, like the dark one. I'm going to try it out the day and see what it's like. But I'm just a bit iffy about the Saint Marie. Oh excuse me, I've got hiccups. What's wrong, baby? What do you want? Something in there? Oh, we've got bone sucker. Want him? He's bone? Yeah, go get him. He always gets his toys stuck underneath the sofa. Like, literally all the time. Don't you know our mommy's iPad? You need to trample it all over it. <laughs> I've never seen the pure black bottle of St. Marie's. I've seen, like, the half black, half white ombre one, like, the dark and dark. But I've never seen the, um, fully black one. But if you've tried a tan before, please let me know. I wasn't going to try that tonight, so be too late to get my opinion on it. On it. Without me having an opinion on it, that makes sense. But, um, she can understand what I said there. But, yeah, I'm just going to try it out to see what it's like. I hope it's dark and I hope it doesn't really fade off patchy. The tan I got last time from St. Marie's, as I was saying, I'm iffy about them tans, is that I got the fast tan, the one from b and and... We put it on, the guy colour was really, really dark and it was lovely and all. See, so within a day, like literally within the next day, because I didn't wash it off the next day, we washed it off the day after. Within that next day, when I had the guy colour on, it went starting to go patchy and I washed it off that next morning. It was all patchy, like, and it was just horrible. Maybe it could have been that I didn't moisturise, like, before I put it on, but just put me off them. Hopefully that's not the same thing, but yeah. Well, I'm going to do my... Work out and all today. I might just do a homework out and then I'm going to... Horton, will you stop? Go on, you yeah. No, come on. It's trying to, like, scratch the sofa. Come on, look. Look, look. Want your wee bone? Go get it. Away from my sofa. You're going to wreck it. Come on. It's like, he knows what he's done wrong. He keeps on scratching that sofa. Digging and make get away from it now. But, yeah. What's wrong? What's wrong now? What do you want? Want this? Want this? You are dead, go get it. So, um, yeah, so hopefully that tan's better than the last one. Like, I haven't touched this Aunt Marie tan I had, like, like the other month. I haven't touched it since I got it. It's just been sitting in my, um, skincare, like, cupboard. So, yeah, or my tan cupboard, whatever. But I'm going to have to sort that out and see if I want to keep them or I want to give away. 
for the right weather, but yeah. Meet my friend for coffee late too, so I can't wait for that. So I think I'll do my workout either like in half an hour, wait until he's like calmed down, gets a sweet play time. Might take him another walk, I don't know. Probably not actually. But yeah, I'll see you during the day or during the evening, whatever. But yeah, I might just edit videos and all after the workout or while I'm waiting for him to have his play time because I don't want to drop him into the kitchen again because he was in there when we were out and all. So I want to just let off steam and then put him back in the kitchen and then me do my workout and then get a shower in my tan and stuff. So yeah, I'll see you when I see you. Hi peeps, so I'm going to end this wee day in the life of a Frenchie one with a Frenchie vlog. And that's the important land in the bed, yeah. So the cushion up the bed, so we're just for the night. It's like after 12 o'clock. Are you chewing your bone? Been hyper horse all day, haven't you? So, um, so yeah, fake tanned about over an hour going out this being jamming the music, all this random dance music for like an hour and a half or so. But yeah, just a wee child night, constantly playing games, so he has, and Horton just sitting there chewing his wee bone and being hyper hoarders and looking for walks when you had one, didn't you? You had a walk? Yes. Actually, he loves that bones, he bones like that, a car tube of bones, he absolutely loves it. Keeps him out of mischief and keeps him from chewing things that should be chewing. Yes, like daddy's gloves, the skirting boards. And mummy stuff. Yes. So, so I'm going to end this wee vlog here now, like I said before. And I hope you enjoyed it. God bless. Stay gorgeous. Bye.